Hi guys, um, this is an interesting one. Why do people have an issue with mix out? The, the, there's a couple of things on this that have come up recently. Some of it is tied with what I call new feminists. I can't really call feminists because the feminists or the women I generally deal with in the sense of the ones that are here in Spain um, are pretty cool with it anyway. They understand it, but they're an older generation anyway. They're pretty chilled out in their feminism was like women's rights, equal pay, all that sort of stuff relating to when this movement was most relative. They're not talking about equal pay but less hours and family friendly, cherry pick, I want this, this and this, guys can't have that. And then, um, It's a case of they understood it because they, they've gone through a lot of the transition periods um, from probably about 19, from the 70s. Um, but the point being is they are not, they have no issue with MGTOW at all because they're already past that relationship issue, they're already just chilled out, just living their lives here. Yes, they're all single, um, predominantly they're either divorced or they've gone, um, well their husbands are dead, one of the two. But they're, they're pretty chilled out, you know, at the end of the day they've gone through this, this stuff already in life so they're not bothered about MGTOW whatsoever. But they're not what I call the new feminists. Well, the new feminists have often got an issue with pretty much everything. I, I, I fundamentally do not understand some of these things. In the video somebody sent me the other day, I have to make, mention that woman just gave me a headache. Um, when somebody goes to a country and makes a statement that I couldn't be myself, I felt like I was somebody else, I'm just thinking, there's something wrong with you. You respect other people's cultures, whether you agree with it or not. Nobody invited you. You're a tourist. You invited yourself. Um, but anyway, and but that's the sort of woman that have an issue with it. That's the sort of woman that have an issue with MGTOW because they want things to suit themselves. That's why they'll go. I'm an empowered woman. I am the. Nobody asked you. I, I'm, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of this stuff, I've experienced it in the work environment. I've mentioned before when somebody says, I'm this or that, I said, I don't care. I don't want to know. It's nothing to do with work. I couldn't care less. But there's this obsession of, of telling you. It's like when somebody goes, I'm a vegan. I'm like, what do you want me to do about it? You know, at the end of the day, it's like, well, you know, if somebody goes and, you know, go to, go to a meal, I'll tell you now, I'm still going to eat steak. I do not care what you eat. If you want to eat salad or whatever, fine. But if you're not happy with me eating steak, go to another restaurant or do whatever. Because I tell you now, I'm still eating steak. Um, I am not adapting to somebody else's... Well, I'm not having somebody else dictate to me to adapt to a public space. Um, because I'm not bothering anybody. I'm eating steak because that's on the menu. I'm not going to sit and eat a tomato salad because there's nothing else left in it. Um, that ain't happening. Um, but at the same time, somebody says they're, they're vegan. Not an issue. I just don't need to hear about it. I don't want you interfering in what I eat. I do not want to know what you're eating. It's simple as that. You know, unless we actually say, hey, so what do vegans eat? Then that's, that's a conversation piece. I'm not going to say, well, I don't know how you can do this or that, because I don't care. You know, this is the thing. Well, this is where I find some of the MGTOW stuff interesting because people, when you say, well, I'm doing this with the MGTOW, they say, well, it's like, it's anti-feminism. It's not anti-feminism at all. It, it's actually just connecting, disconnecting from many things and recognizing that a lot of issues with the feminism, uh, today's feminism, is fine. What, people aren't allowed their own opinions? They're not allowed to express something. But then again, MGTOW's not really expressing unless you're actually looking for it. You're not looking at people demanding that something is changed or um, targeting people on Twitter to try and destroy their business or whatever in the same way a lot of the stuff related to feminism is focusing these days. You're talking about guys that simply just go, don't want to know. We're going and doing our own thing. You know, don't want to get into these relationships, don't want to get into these hassles, don't, not buying into the old system. That's MGTOW. 
and this is why it's interesting when people have an issue with it. It's like where some of the, I mean, there's a few guys I've seen and said, well, I'm not MGTOW, I don't want to associate with this or whatever, and you're like, you may not want to associate it with it, but you're following exactly the same thing. And this is why I do stress a lot of it is personal development. A lot of it is around recognizing your own um, well-being, your self-development, your um, your future goals, and unlocking your potential, and not getting yourself into a lot of the stuff that many people do. Um, it's it's unhinging yourself from society, in what suits the governments, in what suits the the tax authorities, in what suits the banking systems. It's unhinging yourself from it, and whether you like it or not, you're doing exactly the same. Um, you may not want to wear a badge, but at the same time, you're still doing exactly the same. And I have no issue with that, but I can't understand why somebody would have an issue with somebody going, oh, well, you're MGTOW now. It's like, well, you can simply respond with that. It's like, well, if I meet the right person, I'll meet the right person, if you're interested in relationships. A lot of these guys are not interested in relationships. They are men that have gone their own way. Um, so, yeah, I do find some of this stuff funny. The people that get really angry on this stuff, I find even more bizarre. And I can understand some of that from being displaced in the sense of needing to feel that they're, they, um, they have value. But a lot of the time, the value is based on giving up what you have to suit them. I mean, when I look back when I was in my teens, if I'd done stuff the way I do it, would do it now, things would have been very different. I'd already be financially a lot better off, I'll tell you that now. I mean, financially, I've been through a few relationships, girlfriend-wise, not marriage, but I would have saved an absolute fortune. Um, but at that time, that's the way you function. And I know somebody's mentioned that guys don't need um, to be with some one person or whatever. I would say it's all about personal preference on that side. It's not, you know, you can't take it straight down to animal instincts or whatever. I mean, at the end of the day, individuals have different preferences. This is why you can't say everyone is MGTOW. You can't say everyone is not MGTOW. You can't say everybody is this. There is individual traits and stuff that are relevant to individuals. Um, some people like family life, but a lot of people may not even get that because they don't want a family life, so for them it doesn't match because it's not something to be interested in. Um, so it's a bit like me, I like, I like watching opera, but at the same time, I couldn't watch Oprah. Um, it, it's, it's that sort of stuff, <laughs> you know, different people, different things. But I couldn't understand where some of these women get irate. Because I've seen guys get IRA, it's been women that get IRA, and it's it's very peculiar why they would think that their viewpoints and everything are more important. But as I say, I think a lot of it is down to they need to feel that they are needed and can have some of that control. Because as soon as you turn around and say, I'm not really interested you've disconnected all of that from them. You've took that from them. They've took that bit of power. It's like, you know, like I was saying, this one goes, well, I'm empowered, blah, blah, blah. What are you talking about? Empowered from what? Who's took something from you? Who, oh, I didn't see anybody in here but you. Empowered by what? I mean, it, it, it's like the pay gap argument. Most of the time, the pay gap argument is a very peculiar one because he's talking about top jobs as if there's some sort of conspiracy theory on there. It's not about top jobs at all. It's about how people actually function in, in real world scenarios. Although people want equality, uh, many people want equality, in reality, that cannot be achieved simply because of choices and the genetic makeup of people for the majority. And this is what I was saying, you can still have choices where you decide that you're happy in a relationship, you're happily married or whatever, but at the same time other people wouldn't even get it. I get that. 
it's the same where people go, well, there should be more women in the top jobs in the UK, and I go, there could be. And there's nothing stopping them beyond the fact of their own choices. They decide to get married, they decide to settle down, they decide that they don't want to work 120 hours a week. They change the way they want to function in business. When they were at university or whatever, the game plan was all focused because their parents are driving it forward. Once you get to say 30 years old, the game changes. You start thinking about the body clock. You start thinking, I'm fed up at doing the same job. I seem to be in the office all the time. But you know what? A lot of guys are locked into that because unlike a lot of the women, they end up with the responsibility of being the breadwinner, where you find that it's majority of the women, they all take the foot off the, off the pedal and slow things down. And this is why I do think there is an issue where some of these women have an issue with MGTOW, because at the end of the day, you're removing that option, because you ain't getting, getting into bed with them. You're not having that relationship. You're not being locked into it. What you're doing is saying, well, I don't mind going out a couple of nights a week, you know, even if you're in a relationship, but at the same time, you're not locking into marriage, you're not locking into commitment, you are simply like, almost like two guys going to work, but you may still have some form of relationship there that isn't um, long term. You know, at the end of the day, you could go your own way at no time, any time, sorry, and there would be no cost. You know, if you suddenly fell out, what would be the cost? You, you've lost a curry on a Friday. You, sorry, you lost your curry mate on a Friday. But beyond that, not much more. And I, this is where I think a lot of people have an issue with it. Because once you start focusing on moving that way, you're removing their ability to control the situation and control what they want. Because that safety net's there. If I want to be a career-driven woman, blah, 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 and then something happens, well, look at old Theresa May. There's a career-driven woman. No idea what she's doing, but she's career-driven. Um, but fundamentally, that is a career-driven woman. Is she attractive? Let me know on a postcard if you find her attractive. <laughs> um, but ultimately, she would be a woman that is not looking... I know she's married. I don't think they've got any kids, and I doubt they would ever have any kids. But she has focused on that and that's that is a career driven woman as you can see she looks tired she, she's got bigger bags under her eyes than me um, she looks pasty she's not attractive and at the same time women can see that once they get so far like I said once you get into the, the 30s plus you start seeing it you start to feel that your age is catching up with you and you start to think fundamentally things need to change I need to slow down, I need to get a relationship, I need to get married, I need this and that but I think MGTOW is growing and part of the parcel of that is a lot of the guys are going well I've got my own wealth, I don't need to carry somebody um, at the end of the day I don't want to get locked into this I do not want financially to be held on the hook for the next 18-20 years we, realistically I'm content on my own. And that's the biggest threat to this, is when guys don't need the other, the other half, you're now in a position to take control of everything. And at the same time, that's probably what angers people most, is the hook is gone. Thanks for watching.